guys, this is Abdul Rahman Siddiqui, aka Pakistani Pepper. I'm a high school teacher and Google certified educator. In the current climate where a lot of teachers are stuck at home and students cannot physically see them, it's a little easy for teachers and students to sometimes forget the value of teaching. And because you're always stuck in front of a computer, you don't actually see many times the impact that a teacher in front of you can have. The one positive though is that for a lot of people, they have a lot more time to sit at home. So one thing that I thought would be really nice was if I would share with you my five films that inspired me to teach. These aren't the only things that inspired me to teach, but they played a big part in it. Quick note, on my channel I do a lot of comedy skits and teaching tutorials. If that appeals to your interests, consider subscribing. In the comments be sure to share movies about teachers that you really like. Now, let's share with you my five films that I believe everyone who wants to know the power of teaching should watch. Number one, Front of the Class. This was a low-scale movie that a lot of people weren't really supposed to know. It's a lifetime movie, it starred an actor who wasn't very well known back then, but it actually turned out to be an amazing story. Front of the Class is based on the real-life story of Brad Cohen, who's a teacher that had Tourette Syndrome, which is a condition that causes people to make tics as they speak. Now, you might think that something like that would interfere with someone's teaching, and I'm sure it did for Brad, but what the movie shows is that he didn't let that stop him, and still continued to work to basically help his students. It is an amazing movie, and the lead actor James Wolf gives one of the all-time great performances as a teacher. Please watch it for any time you want to learn how true teachers really fight for their students and for their ability to teach. Number four, I have Stand and Deliver. In this movie, Edward James Olmos, who was an amazing actor from back in the day, actually gives a, another real-life performance. This time, it's based on a real-life teacher who actually worked to make sure that a lot of his students in a very low-income neighborhood actually got excellent scores on their AP math tests. It was an amazing pass rate, like pass rates that you would not believe would not happen without cheating. And obviously it's a real life story, so the really sad part is that those students did actually end up having to retake exams because of what happened, that people accused them of cheating because they couldn't believe that these kids from this low income neighborhood could actually work hard and succeed. But a, their teacher was a big part of that. So I definitely recommend watch that movie to really see how a real teacher fought for his students. Number three, School of Rock. Who says that serious films have to be serious all the time? School of Rock is about the very serious subject of schools that didn't promote students' creativity, but it does it all through one of the most comedic movies of all time with an all-time great performance by Jack Black. In this, an out-of-work musician, if you want to call him that, basically pretends to be his friend, sneak into a school as the substitute teacher that his friend is supposed to be, and start tutoring those elite private academy kids. Basically, when he finds out that they can play music really well, instead of teaching them regular stuff, he starts teaching them music. But what he really does through that, the teacher, is that instead of teaching them about just music, he teaches the kids, and all of us, the viewers, the value of working hard, of playing together, and ultimately sticking it to the band. So essentially, he teaches them rock. It's an amazing movie, it is hilarious, it is the kind of movie that every time you watch it, you see a new joke, and it is the kind of movie that really shows you the impact teachers can have when they let students unleash their creativity. Watch it. At number two, we have That Is The Mean Bird. This is a Bollywood film starring a Bollywood icon, Amir Khan, Basically, the story is that you have a student with dyslexia whose family and whose teachers really just don't recognize that he needs help. He's not someone who's intentionally trying to misbehave or ignore work. He's just someone who needs his work differentiated for him, and he's not getting that support. When he finally meets a teacher who recognizes it, it changes his life. The main actor, Amir Khan, does an amazing job, as he always does, and their shield Safri, the boy who plays the young man who has dyslexia is also amazing in it. It was distributed nationally by Disney and it is the kind of movie that you really really need to watch. Even if you don't normally like subtitles, just watch it because trust me it is inspiring, it is beautiful, 
and it has one of the sweetest endings you would ever see inside a film. And finally, we have The Karate Kid. The Karate Kid is a classic. In the 80s, a story about a young kid who moves to a new neighborhood, gets in trouble with the local bullies, and eventually fights them off, gets the girl, all that stuff. It sounds very generic. But here's the really beautiful part. Ralph Macchio, who plays the young kid, and the teacher, Pat Morita, they just have this amazing chemistry. And he teaches you so many things about the beauty of teaching, about how you can teach students to believe in themselves. And on the other end, you have the bully, William Zapka, and it shows you how horrible teachers can wreck otherwise really good people. It inspired a couple of sequels that, in my opinion, weren't as strong, and it also inspired the excellent YouTube Red series, Cobra Kai. So, if you haven't seen Cobra Kai yet, you should, but before that, you should see the OG that started it all. So that's it. Those are the five films that I believe as a teacher, every single teacher and every single student and everyone who wants to know the value of good teaching should watch. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting that like button and subscribing. This is Paxani Pepper saying peace out, stay peppery, and don't forget, sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories we hear least. Have an awesome day, guys.